that I wrote for Guru Dave in January, so he's giving me a chance to share it with everyone now. And it's called A Tear at Your Lotus Feet. And in 96, when Guru Dave was, after his first tour in the West and he was leaving America, a few of us got to sit in the lounge with him at JFK for a long time, just a couple of us. And Gopanandini was there, and all of a sudden she started crying a little bit. So Guru Dave looked at her and he said, Yes, every day I want from you one tear, one tear. So, O oh great Acharya of our Gaudiya line, O oh dedicated sadak immersed in bhajan, O oh sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Seeing the fallen Westerners showing some glimmer of interest, you open the doors of your heart. Mercy flowing fast like the Ganga and softly like the Jamuna comes pouring out, overwhelming all with an astonishing joy. We never heard these sweet things before. Sadhu, sadhu, how wonderful. I want to hear more. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Dedicated to helping the fall, very fallen, you give your life's breath and more. Come on, come on, take the holy name. Eat less, sleep less, talk less, chant more. Don't worry for your maintenance. Set your goal and not be touched at 
निठाए है गौर है निठाए है गौर है Shrimati Radhika's Palya Dasis. We want nothing less. This is the highest, the very highest. I have so many fruits in my basket. Who will take? Who will take? You can't imagine what I'm trying to give you, but you're not taking. What? You want me to give you poison? I can never do that. Krishna he Radhe he. Krishna he Radhe. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Kartik Vrata, every year more wonderful, more exciting, in a rocket ship of transcendental sound vibration, your Hari Kata and sweet Kirtans, we burst through the seven coverings of the material universe, zoom past by Kunta, and enter the very heart of Golok Vraj. Sri Radha Kund herself. This is Rupa Nuga, Kartik, daily described in Krishna's sweet Vraj Leelas to inspire our dry hearts. Vacho Vegam, Manasakrota Vegam, Tang Nama Rupa Chadi Tadi Sukirtananu. Don't criticize, don't criticize. Guru Goste Gostale Ishu Sujane Bhusirgani. Trinara Peace Sunichina. More humble than grass, offer all respect to others. We must become like the Goswamis, give up your desires. Serve the Vaishnavs, all these treasures you have placed in our praying samput. O oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. <laughs> Coming in a line of lions, you are also Prabhupada, fearlessly establishing our siddhantas. Astakalya Leela does not belong to the Hasahajis, it is our property. Vikriditam Vrajavadubiri Damcha Vishnu. We must hear about Krishna and the gopis. Don't jump! Don't jump! Sakrata Vegam. Spreading the truth throughout Vraj. Parakya Ras. Radha and Krishna were never married. Krishna was born in Gokula, not Mathura. Setting the local people straight. Srila <laughs> Saraswati Thakur asked his father, Can I publish Gita Govinda? Yes. One copy for yourself. <laughs> but you, Gurudev, confidently keeping the pure Gaudiya line alive, so bold that you published Pujari Goswami's Gita Govinda and then translated into English, even though no one is qualified. Ariras, Sringaras, this is pure love. You can't understand what Mahabhav is, but still, I will tell you something about it. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Looking out for your children's welfare, you cleverly and fearlessly expose the dangerous crocodiles lurking under the water. Prophetically, in 2003 in Germany, you told us, if there is no bhakti in the Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti, I will leave immediately. We could not imagine at that time. And when they publicly insulted you, still you were a loving father to them. And without a drop of malice in your heart, you visited Devananda Mutt and spoke the confidential beauties of Mahaprabhu's Leela. Always the perfect Vaishnav. Your ignorant babies mistaking hidden hypocrisies for bhakti. Palama Sura entered our midst, stealing away innocent sheep. Forced to banish your dear most to the forest, you wept. Can you bring him back? Can you help him? Beware of Vaishnav Aparad. Do you think you can change Guru's words? Never. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Your sudden illness shaking us into reality, too weak to speak, twisting our hearts deep. Take to this process seriously. You must achieve liberation before I leave. Arjuna saw only the eye of the bird. Don't look here and there. We have come here only for this brudge bhakti. Have no other thought. Give your life to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and quickly go to Golok Vraj. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet. Thank you.
नमो महामतन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय गुरवे गौरचंद्राय
they should not do any prayatna effort. effort for them. If sukh is there, happiness is there for previous life, or oh, it will come automatically. Taprayaso no kartabhyo. You should not do anything for that. Automatically, all kinds of sukh will come. And he has given, Krishna has given, Dattatreya has given an example of Python. One, one place he lives, nothing doing any effort. And automatically if comes any animal or anything in front and he and he is satisfied. For so many days, he will not try it. Automatically he is coming, okay. So a sadhu should be like that. Always engaging their senses in Krishna consciousness. What we have seen, taste from Samudra, Osha, 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 Krishna, Krishna Bhakta, Tada Bhakta, Namo Namaha. So one of the 24 Gurus is the ocean, because in the rainy season when so much rain comes and the rivers are swollen and they flow into the ocean, the ocean never goes up, it remains constant. In the dry season when the rivers become small, when the rivers become very small, the ocean also does not shrink. In the same way, the ocean is an example of a saintly person who despite the accumulation of great material enjoyment, great facilities, he's never changed. And in the absence of those great facilities, he's also never changed. At last I was talking with Pran Kishoparu, <laughs> and he was saying, when he first came to Gurudev, there was nothing. All were very poor, and now, at that time, Gurudev were the same, and now, despite so many disciples coming so much wealth, he remains completely unchanged. So, good ever is one example. Notion. Welcome. Sri Patamadra is telling that Gurudev is became overflow and made destruction. Vishwa, Istriyam, Devamayam, Tadabhavai, Ajitendriya, Pradovita, Patantandhe, Tasyagnav, Patangopati. You, can you? You don't remember. You can read the book. You can check the book. One who has failed to control his senses immediately feels attraction upon seeing a woman's form which is created by the illusory energy of the Supreme Lord. Indeed, when the woman speaks with enticing words, smiles coquettishly, and moves her body sensuously, his mind is immediately captured. And thus, he falls blindly into the darkness of material existence, just as the moth maddened by the fire rushes blindly into its flames. So, here the instruction is given how the moth, Patanga, 
is one of the gurus because the moth is very attracted by the flame. So the moth comes around the flame. At night, if there's any flame, moths will come. They will circle around, circle around, and then fly into the flame. And the moth is finished. So the conditioned soul in the material world. For man, the form of woman is maya. And also for the woman, man is also maya. And there is such a strong attraction to be with the opposite sex. But because of this very powerful attraction, because of trying to satisfy this attraction, one becomes destroyed. One can become destroyed in so many ways, materially and especially spiritually. And one will forget all about the goal of life, which is to cultivate Krishna consciousness and engage in bhajan. Sannyasin, Brahmachari, and Brahmacharinis also be very careful how that Satinga moth. This is flame, fire. That is Rupa. And at once he attached and goes circling and jumps. What is the meaning? If you will not be careful that ladies are Daivi Maya, especially very beautiful more than lady and gentlemen. Very. And for them, oh, men are so. So you should always be very, very careful. Also, I see that two kinds of Bhardashram, Smartha and Devi, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and others, also Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj tried to establish Bhardashram Dharma. So we should be satisfied by if grihasti you are, with one lady or one husband. In life, you should not change, divorce, any husband <coughs> or wife. This is Varnasham What is favorable for us, we should take. And what is unfavorable, we should reject. It will be helpful in our Krishna consciousness. So those <coughs> murha, murha, foolish persons, kamini, kanchan, Old and Kamini, Alankar, so many ornaments and Naswar, Naswar means things in this world, they are attached and always they want to test it, they are fully. They should not do. Tokam is Tokam Prasid Kra. So, pronounce are the sannyasi. Be like Bambo Bees. They should go to Grihastasam after their Shapar. 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 And go to so many. This should not be burdened on a grihastha. 
and from so many houses, little, little, like bumblebees collects honey <coughs> from so many flowers. So sannyasi should be like that. He should not be burdened on me. <coughs> so I have learned from Madhumakhi, bumblebees, that a sannyasi should not collect for evening or for next day. Next day. For one, one time only and be satisfied. Other if he will <coughs> collect money or anything, then what will be? <coughs> Madhuhari. Honey, honey collector <coughs> will come and take you like with their house behind and keeps in his cloth and and then takes it. Don't be like that. <coughs> then Jyadyati Jyvati Bhikshu Nash Prasad Dharva Miti. Thirty. Who will tell me? Look at Padapi yuvatim bikshur nas prishad daravim api sprishan kariva badhyeta karinya anga sangata. A, a saintly person should never touch a young girl. In fact, he should not even let his foot touch a wooden doll in the shape of a woman. By bodily contact with a woman, he will surely be captured by illusion just as the elephant is captured by the she-elephant due to his desire to touch her body. <laughs> yeah, there's another verse in pertaining. I, I will tell, but there's one more verse. Then the next verse goes on to say, Nadigat striyam pragya karhichin mrityam atmanaha baladikai sahanyeta gajair anyar gajohu yata A man possessing intelligent discrimination should not, under any circumstances, try to exploit the beautiful form of a woman for his sex gratification. Just as a, an elephant trying to enjoy a she-elephant is killed by other bull elephants also enjoying her company, so similarly one trying to enjoy a lady's company can at any moment be killed by her other lovers who are stronger than he. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Njana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha So these examples being given by the Avadut are illustrating how the attraction of the senses for the sense objects, the f attraction to form, the attraction to taste, now the attraction to touch, so in the material world, the living entities, they are very much attached to these objects of form, taste, touch, smell, and so forth. Uh, but they don't understand that as their senses become attached, uh, become attracted first of all, and then they become attached to them, then this is the cause of their destruction, actually. We already saw, the, uh, heard the example of the moth. Because of, because of sight, because of rupa, because of form and the, and the flickering of the fire, it becomes attracted and then it becomes killed. So, in the same way, here is the example being given of an elephant. An elephant in the forest is very difficult to capture. But at the same time, 
if the hunter knows the process of capturing the elephant, very, very easy. And the method that they utilize is they bring one she-elephant. So the she-elephant is standing at a distance from the male elephant, and what they do is they dig a huge hole, and they cover it with some grass. And the elephant, the male elephant sees the she-elephant, she and now he becomes aroused in his desire to touch her. So he goes forward very quickly with uh, no other consideration, and boom, he falls down into the pit. And in this way, he becomes captured. So in the same way, uh, in this material world, because of the attraction to touch, therefore, persons, they think, oh, if I gratify my sense of touch with the opposite sex, oh, this will satisfy me. But actually what happens? They become captured. They become entangled. So many examples are being given here about the attraction between the sexes. Why? Because this is actually the most powerful force in this material world. And it is also the most binding force. Uh, because it creates a knot within the heart. And the conditioned soul identifies very, very strongly with this false and, and actually illusory relationship that they've created. So, therefore, the Avadut is saying that he's learning from all these different aspects of nature how he can cultivate this detachment. And he's learning from the mistakes of these different living entities, like, like the elephant. He also gave the example that an elephant becomes attracted to another she-elephant. And uh, in order to attain that she-elephant, then he has to fight with the other opposing male elephants. In the same way within this material world, we can read in the newspapers on any day of the week how people are being killed because of lust. One lover becomes attracted to a, another lady, and uh, that lady happens to have a husband. She has an illicit relationship. And then, then the husband finds out, and then he comes and he murders uh, this uh, illicit lover. And innumerable cases like this, because of the attraction of lust within this world. So by the sense of touch, especially, someone can be captured. And then the next example is being given. Especially... Our Sannyasi Brahmachari, they should be very careful. <laughs> it may be like Hathini Sikhari elephant. Ladies may come and attract <coughs> and he will fall down, get Sannyas, everything. And then, by that affection, Attachment. He thinks what I have done are okay. No? I have left sannyas no how. It is okay. We should be just. But why Ramanuj, Madhvachar, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadita, and Vishnu Swami generation? Oh. Lacks and lacks of sannyasi. In our sampradaya, Madhvendra Puripad, Ishwar Puripad, was sannyasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, also sannyasi. After that, there are so many sannyasis. Prabhupada made tridanda sannyasis still coming in Ramanu sampradaya in our sampradaya. So, <coughs> your announce is very good. <coughs> very good. It will come up the right. Hmm? Now, try to be Jitendriya, to conquer your senses, especially this tongue. It has no bone. Huh? No backbone. No backbone. Not control. She can tell anything to anyone. <laughs> so we should try to control. If your Rasanandriya then is controlled, all things will be controlled. Like 
fishes everywhere in pond in ocean in rivers some fishermen taking buns in their hands is stick and and they make some place in that and the family so by test this is not in control see at once jumps and what becomes they try to roll <laughs> coming and again living and after some time she is tired and she detects and cooks <laughs> so we should try to control our this time don't is be anything which is wrong always control part be god if your back way is control that it then there will be no offense of vishnu nam nama parat or anything then <coughs> oh he tell it tinga nam desya in ancient call ancient time in videh nagari where raja janak videh used to be and there was a prostitute shamraj ओम ज्ञानम चिमरंद ज्ञानंजन शलाकय चक्षुरुन्मलिताुरव नम Shri Guru Dev has ordered me to speak about the next of the 24 gurus of Shiksha gurus as of Avadut Dattatreya and he's telling King Yadu that Pingala Vaish Pingala prostitute is another of my gurus so I'll read the verse O best among men the king this prostitute was very anxious to get money and she stood on the street at night and as she did so she studied all the men who were passing by thinking oh this one will surely have money i know he can pay the price and i'm sure he would enjoy my company very much <laughs> thus she thought about all the men in the street but one man came and went by her as though she wasn't there and then another and in order to attract them seeing that they were going by her she would take very beautiful poses in different ways and nothing was working so gradually she became so unhappy at her failures that within her heart some detachment started manifesting failure is the pillar of success Our Shila Prabhupada in his books used to quote Pingala prostitute as the example. Then as the detachment came in her heart, she started remembering the supreme personality of Godhead, and she said to herself, "Just see how greatly illusioned I am. I cannot control my mind. Just like a fool, I desire to enjoy the pleasures of insignificant men lakshmi also in the 6th canto she is teaching that what is the use of a husband who's made of a bag of skin and pus and just some hair sticking out of that piece of skin <laughs> one should accept only the supreme personality of godhead as his husband <laughs> then she begins condemning herself We girls have to stick together. <laughs> Then she says, "How uselessly I've tortured my soul. I have sold my body to look greedy men who themselves are objects of pity. 
In the second, ver in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, when Arjuna is complaining to Krishna, why are you asking me to fight in this war? So many bad things will happen. Women and girls are protected by their husbands and their fathers, elders, and if their husbands and elders die in the war, then they'll be subjected to the prey, to be the prey of unscrupulous men. And there in the purport, our Srila Prabhupada says that uh, unintelligent women become subject to the exploitation of unscrupulous men. So as our Prabhupada used to say, man is good, woman is good, you put them together and it's bad. <laughs> then she continues, thus practicing the most abominable profession of a prostitute, I hope to get money and sense pleasure. Certainly in this city of Adeha, now she's manifesting some very good qualities, like Srila Naratam Das Thakur, that I haven't worshipped Lord Gora, I've accepted valueless things as valuable, and valuable things like Gore Prem and Gore Kirtan is valueless. Instead of hearing the Harikata of saintly persons, I listen to the Prajalpa, criticism, and useless talks of materialistic persons. I've wasted my life. What is the use of such life? I might as well have died rather than to maintain this useless body. Similarly, she's now coming to that conclusion. Certainly in this city of Adeya, I am the most foolish. This is the qualification of a devotee to get mercy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is petit de pavan. And I am the most petite. I am the most fallen. Therefore, my claim is first. In our song, Sri Guru Charana Padma, the last line, Ebe Yash Gushu Tribhuvana, your glories are spread all over the three worlds. Srila Gurudev gave a very deep further meaning of this that I am so fallen, nobody could save me. I'm so unqualified. If you'll deliver me, then you'll become famous all over the three worlds as the most savior of the most fallen. Then she comes to accept the glory and she's developing affection for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I neglect it by lamenting. Lamentation is purification as our acharyas teach us. I neglected the Supreme Personality of Godhead who awards us everything, even our original spiritual form. And instead, I desire to enjoy sense gratification with many men. Men provide sense gratification for women, but all these men and even the demigods in heaven have a beginning and an end. They are all temporary creations who will be dragged away by time. Therefore, how much actual pleasure or happiness can any of them give their wives? There's no difference between the sex pleasure in heaven, on earth, and in the animal kingdom. In 1969 in Boston, our Srila Prabhupada told the story of one man who was very lusty, even though he was married to a very chaste, wonderful, submissive wife. And he desired a very expensive prostitute. So knowing about this, that chaste wife went to the prostitute's house when she wasn't home, and she began cleaning. So the prostitute returned and said, what are you doing? And she said, I want the opportunity for my husband to enjoy you. So she said, you don't realize how expensive I am. Finally, the lady worked for her until she became a prostitute, made so much money, and gave that money to her husband. And her husband went to the prostitute. So that prostitute already knew who that man was and liked his wife very much. So generally in a prostitute's house, they first serve a dinner, very tasteful dinner to the man, and then they engage in their business. So she served him the same food in a brass pot and the same food in a golden pot. And he said, what is this? She said, just taste it and tell me what you think. So he said, tasted it, and he said, well, they, it tastes exactly the same. Why did you put it in the two pots? So she said, you are such a rascal that you think that sense gratification is the same, is different in me and in your wife when the taste is actually the same. And then our Prabhupada said the taste is the same in heaven, on earth, and in hell. So because of this 
king of the prostitutes frustration that turned into detachment which later on turned into affection for the Lord and concluded that the supreme personality of Godhead is the only source of love and happiness. A sadhak should always remember this thing a lot is true. Asahi parmam dukham, nairasyam parmam sukham, jas santhit vikaram tasa, sukham susva upinitala. Select his all worldly desire <coughs> and begin to think that, oh, Krishna is very nearest in heart. I have not tried to please him, <coughs> but these persons who will die one day, what happiness they have given to me? Nothing. <coughs> they have buried my body in fire. I became of them and lost everything. Anyhow, by the mercy of Krishna, I have now Vairasyam, Vairagya. And this Vairagya will take me to Krishna. So he left his <coughs> door, went to sleep, and very well slept, and she became afterward a good devotee. <coughs> so we should always remember this history and try to be very careful. What Avadhu Dattatreya has told, and Krishna again he has told to Uddha. Why he has told? You have to detach from this world. No asakti. And give your whole heart, all of heart, everything, please, Krishna. Life is short, but after them, oh, it can give from Artha, even Dasha Pradika, highest, it can give. Only we can, and we don't know when it will go, when death will come. So with whole effort and energy. You should give to Krishna consciousness. That Sudevi. One question. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, prepare for drama.
डॉक्टर नंदन प्रभु प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड गजेंद्र नंदन प्रभु प्रभु Very happy that our this is cool. Our ch children traveling here and there. Amo Baha Prabhu has kindly donated donated a mini car. Mini cars. Our children, teachers, all can travel here and. children from all over world should come and it should be ideal school i think it is still ideal krishna sir krishna sir hare krishna so Some devotee has requested initiation. Although the initiation done yesterday, and fire sacrifice will take place tomorrow, 9 a.m. headed by Sri Pad Damodar Maharaj. So some devotee has requested for initiation. It will take place tomorrow, just before 9 a.m. The Bhajan Kuti of Sri Guru Dev. So whoever desire for initiation, they have to come there before 9 a.m. हरे कृष्ण रामा द ग्रम प्लेयर बी रेडी फॉर ड्रामा जय जय राधा रमन हरिबो जय जय राधा रमन हरिबो 